Creating a 3D model from iPhone photos using Visual SFM, CMP MVS, MeshLab and Blender. What I did was took a few photos of my sleeping cat. There's about 19 photos there. You can do more or a few less. And these images are standard from the iPhone camera. They're not brilliant quality and uh, we can just see that they're, if I zoom in, they're a bit blurry. Ideally, you should be using very high quality images for this. But I'm gonna show you that this works using just standard photos from an iPhone. What you'll need are a folder where you've got your images. That's that one there, I've created. A program called CMP MVS. I've got version six, 64 bit, you need MeshLab, you'll need Visual SFM, 64-bit, and you'll probably want Blender as well. Let's get started. Okay, let's go to my F drive, CD to my CMPVS, and in there is a a file called Visual SFM CMP MVS.bat. The command to start the process is that, put in a space. We now need the location of the Visual SFM executable, which is here, slash Visual SFM exe, space, the location of the images, which is here. There, images. Press enter. What that does is that will take possibly an hour to run. And it creates a whole bunch of little extra files. These mat and these uh, S sift sifts here and a whole bunch of other stuff and we'll, I'll show you that when it's finished. But it's gonna happily go away doing that. And I'll make that a little bigger so we can see it. And then in the background in the file explorer, we can just watch as it creates extra files and extra folders. There's a new folder here. At any point in time, you may experience an error. Uh, and I'll just tell you what that about is about now. Not everybody gets this, but many people will. If you get an error um, and it says anything about a side-by-side -side configuration error, then what you're missing is the Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 redistributable pack package. My version I needed was the x64 version because I'm using the 64-bit versions of all these programs. And I think most people are these days. So just do a search on that and Google and install it and then rerun your CMP MVS executable uh, program here and it should work. I'm just gonna let this run for a while and then come back to it. Okay, that is finished, and let's see what it's done. If we go back to, those were the images that I started with. It created these mat and these SIFT files. It's created a couple of folders. Uh, and that 
folded here is all the good stuff put in one place. But if we can look at that in more detail uh, in these subfolders and we can see there's loads of stuff. Uh, even this video folder is pretty impressive. For example, it's created a video from my photos. They're the photos up on the top left. That's the cloud. The point cloud on the top right. Bottom left is a shaded surface. Bottom right is it textured a movie. It looks really good. If we can look at that, those individual files, if we go into each of these subfolders, and uh, let's have a look. There is a stereo version here if you want to try that in your uh, virtual reality goggles or here we go just by itself a video from my photos that's pretty impressive now the next step i'm going to just show you a shortcut here uh, Okay, the next step is to open up the Mesh Lab. And then uh, we're going to import import a mesh. Now what we can what the mesh that you import is uh, this mesh texture.wrl, but the, it will import um, some sub textures uh, probably like that and they're huge. And they're pretty okay quality, but in here if we keep navigating around, we find a simplified folder. And now these are, are smaller files and they're kind of pretty good quality. So I'm going to open that instead. Import mesh, uh, F folder, images, there, 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 out, simplified, and mesh texture, WRL. This is much easier to work with than the, than the other files with millions of points. Okay, let's have a look. It's upside down, and uh, there is uh, there is my cat as a three D model from the photos that I created. Now to see this in Blender, there's probably loads of ways of doing it, but I'll show you how it's done. I'll show you one of the ways. Let's export the mesh as an OBJ. Um, we'll keep the name. Um, it's going to be an out simplified. Save. We'll keep everything default. OK. OK, we no longer need that. Open up Blender. File. Let's just get rid of this default cube. File import OBJ. Here it is. Let's navigate uh, images. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Now the OBJ is 25 megabytes. Let's import that. there it is it's a uh, bit of a, a mess let's just uh, center the main clump sort of in uh, along the central axis a little bit okay good now let's to view it it imports upside down and I'm, I'm sure there's there's ways of fixing that we go here and we put this into texture. Okay, now it's all quite black, but the colors are there. And that is because my lamp is in the wrong place. So I'm just going to adjust that and bring up the lamp a little bit. Uh, just move it around. Pressing the G key. Okay. 
Okay, good. There we go, that's in Blender now. That's my cat, my 3D cat in Blender, sleeping. Yeah, as you can see, the quality's not brilliant, but that's because the photos aren't absolutely brilliant. But that is kind of, I think, well, that is okay. And because I'm in Blender, I don't know how to use Blender, and for most people, a lot of people do, we can go into edit mode, deselect, and uh, let's just select the, that, box select a whole bunch of stuff, delete the vertices, so box select a whole bunch of stuff, delete the vertices, I'll box select that as well. Delete the vertices, go back to normal object. And that's a little bit more tidy. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's just, and if I look overhead and try and find this light lamp, G, there it is. Yeah, I can just put the lamp over, over the cat a bit. Maybe I duplicate the lamp and create another one. Should have two lamps now. Yeah, I do. Let's see how that is. Let's just move that around. Uh, I can't really get rid of these black spots on the on the um, on the sheet. But anyway, that's okay. I could probably tidy up the, those bars on the bed footer and that's how it's done thanks for watching remember to like comment and subscribe